Hello everyone, back to you in today's first video, we're doing Jeremy Friday for today's first video. So as it was on a Friday, we're having a look at the weather for the pair with Japanese and South SB2 miles. It's going to take us into the beginning of March, can you believe? So we are moving into the very start of spring. Uh, 2020, mid Joshua Spring 2020 anyway. So uh, I'll get on that for you in a moment, just to say that the second video update coming up later on this afternoon will be your regular week same day the update with all of the usual features. Tonight we've got a live stream coming up on YouTube, on Gas Love's YouTube channel. You'll be able to have a listen to that live stream starting at 7.45 this, this evening uh, on the YouTube channel. We're going to be talking about Storm Kira. We'll be having a look at the chance of some uh, snow next week. And um, also we'll be taking all of your questions as well. No doubt we'll talk about uh, this winter so far and what you think to it. So that's 7.45, probably around 9 o'clock, something like that, uh, this evening on the Gaz of this YouTube channel. If you want to take part in the live chat, then uh, you'll need to subscribe to the channel. And thank you, everybody, uh, for doing that. But starting us off for this Friday is a JMA Friday. So we're going to have a look at the 500 millibar high company flow charts. Uh, break down to weekly peers from the JMA, from the North Pole and Arctic view down. So this is uh, the North Pole of the Arctic, just here. The wider Arctic is around there. And then, of course, we've got the mid latitudes through here. Blue is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange, and red extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure. Uh, these are break down to week periods. The first week period will take us from the 7th to the 14th of February. And the coming week looks unsettled with below average heights out to the northwest. Deep trough of low pressure to the north and west of the country. Above average heights are to our south as well. A strong bridge from the Atlantic into much of Western and Southern Europe. Really strong jet stream coming across the Atlantic too, indicated by the tight lines there. That's indicating a jet that's blasting away across the Atlantic. So it does look very unsettled, I have to say. It looks really unsettled in the week ahead and, dare I say, it, a little bit stormy as well. The air is coming from quite a long way north. So it's coming from eastern Canada and uh, Greenland into western northwest of Europe. So it's not overly mild either, despite the fact that it is Atlantic drear and actually it could be a little bit on the colder side. Uh, week two is the 14th to 21st of um, February, and it looks like this. Above average heights set up to our south. Below average heights are away to the northwest. We still look quite unsettled. The, the uh, jet stream is not quite as strong. And it's going back northwards again a little bit. That's a milder scenario as the wind bent is being pulled up from the southwest. So that's a milder week uh, from the 21st. From the 14th, I should say, to 21st of February. Still quite unsettled, particularly so for the north, where southern and east areas will get drier conditions with that one. And then week three and four takes us from the 21st of February to the 6th of March. We look like this. Above average heights, then, are extending in from the Atlantic. Here they come, extending into the UK, and then try to reach up towards Scandinavia a little bit. But low pressure out towards Greenland, ice and keeps a jet stream generally from the west or southwest direction. All we can say about that is that it's gradually settling down, I think, as we move towards the latter part of February and the early part of March. Bear in mind, it's a two-weekly anomaly, so it might be a little bit transition. It could still be rather unsettled in week uh, three, for example, and then high pressure takes over in week four. But I think overall we're trending towards higher pressure later in February. That high pressure is trying to get itself up towards Scandinavia, but it's not in a cold position at this stage. Whether it would eventually evolve into a colder pattern, we'd have to wait and see. But up to that point, up to the early part of March, not really in a cold position, just settling down. Probably not in frost, but uh, probably spring-like type days. Right, so this is the mean latitude uh, view. We'll have a look at the temperature and precipitation anomalies that go with those heights next. British Isles and Ireland in the top right hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. Reminder about week one 500 millibar height anomaly. Above average heights are extending through uh, the Atlantic into western and southwest parts of Europe. Below average heights. Uh, out to west of the northwest country. You can't see the Greenland and the Arctic uh, with this, but we have a look at that view down so we know what's going on. And a very strong jet stream coming across the Atlantic. It looks like it's a really unsettled week to come. Temperature anomalies being forecast to be above average from the 7th to the 14th 
of February, a mild and average week being predicted here. I'm not sure it's going to be as mild as that, you know. Uh, uh, really, we've got a very mild day coming up on Sunday, but otherwise, uh, I'm not sure the temperature's going to be overly uh, mild, uh, to be honest, but we shall see. Uh, and then, of course, we've got uh, precipitation anomalies from the September 14th anomaly there's, uh, for February. They're significantly wetter than average. A very, very uh, unsettled week to come with low pressure blasting in from off the Atlantic. So the models go for mild and unsettled. I agree with the unsettled side. I'm not sure temperatures will be as warm as the model is expecting. Uh, week 2 is the 14th to 21st of uh, February. And we have the above average heights then to our south and also to our southeast. Below average heights are a little bit further away from us in the northwest. It looks like winds going more southwesterly. With that, if anything, it's a significantly mild average week again. I agree this time with the alignment of the trough and the ridge. We're probably pulling up southwesterly winds this time. So, yes, we see the temperature two to three degrees above average. And I'd agree with that. Maybe a little bit overdone, but I agree that it will be quite a mild uh, week there if the uh, trough and ridge aligns. Our model is forecasting. Still a bit wetter than average as well. Not quite as wet as week one, but nevertheless, week two still looks quite unsettled. And then week three and four takes us from the 21st of February to the 6th of March with the above average heights extending in from the Atlantic into the UK and then into Europe. And also if we come up here, extending up towards Scandinavia as well, uh, jet streams doing something a little bit like that. Temperature anomalies are near a normal for weeks three and four. Uh, so just see a bit of a cool down actually from weeks one and two to weeks three and four. Yes, a little bit, a little bit cooler there. Um, under that ridge of high pressure and also getting a bit drier as well as that ridge is extending in so we lose the rain and um, things start to dry out. So maybe hints at something a little bit colder perhaps for the beginning of March we shall see. So let's see how a CFS V2 is looking in comparison then. So again, these are 500 below our heights. So they're broken down into weekly periods. So the first week period takes from the 7th to the 13th of February. The coming week is unsettled. Uh, below average heights, Cuba West and the Northwest. The above average heights are in the Atlantic and going into Southern Europe. There's the jet stream. And uh, yes, we bring more low pressure through. In fact, it could be quite stormy in the week ahead. Week two is uh, going to be the 14th to the 20th of February. Again, lots of low pressure out to west of the country. Uh, strong west southwesterly jet stream. So it goes on um, a bit of an Atlantic onslaught there from the 14th to 21st of February. Could be very, very unsettled indeed, maybe even stormy. Week 3 is the 21st to 27th of February. And once again, low pressure is out to the northwest. Not quite as deep this time, but nevertheless, it still looks quite unsettled. Still Atlantic driven up to month's end. And then weeks four, week four is the 28th of February to the 5th of March. Low pressure just weakening a little bit out to the northwest. Above average heights building to our east, not up to Scandinavia though, and a mid Atlantic ridge. Um, probably just getting a little bit more settled there, uh, if anything. Well, perhaps a little bit less unsettled, I suppose, I should say. We could still be Atlantic-driven even then. But probably just a little bit less unsettled, if you like, in week four. Temperature anomalies in the week ahead are looking like this. The 7th to the 13th of February, it's going for near normal temperature anomalies for Scotland and Ireland and above average temperature anomalies for England and Wales. Not as warm as some of the weeks we've had this winter. And um, that situation in week two as well, this is the 14th to 20th of February, uh, warmer than average for England and Wales, mild than average for England and Wales, near North Scotland, Northern Ireland. Notice very cold across many parts of America, America and Canada being plunged into the freezer there uh, in uh, week two. Week three looks like this, it's the 21st to 27th of February and um, Close to average again, Scotland and Northern Ireland, uh, a little bit above average for England and Wales. Still cold and average in the southeast of the states, not as cold as has been most parts of Eurasia, looking exceptionally mild. And then finally, week four is the 28th of February to the 5th of March, and we have slightly above average temperature anomalies then. So overall a relatively mild month coming up, but that's not, not quite as mild as it was in January in particular. And precipitation-wise, look at this. Deluge for week 
uh, one, 7th to 13th of February, very substantially above average rainfall in the week ahead and probably stormy too. It's even wetter in week two. So 14th to 20th of February, very significantly above average precipitation for weeks one and two. The deluge is back in business. Week three is the 21st to 27th of February. And uh, it's still a little bit wetter than average for northwest parts. It's actually nearer normal for the south and the east. And then week four rounds it all off. It's the 28th of February to the 5th of March. And um, it's near normal for precipitation, actually, in uh, week four. So trying to get a little bit drier in weeks one, two, in weeks three, four, compared to weeks one, two. Overall, quite mild, especially for the south. Although, probably not as mild as it has been in quite a few other weeks this winter. Right, that's it for Joe Major. Remember, it's just a snapshot. It's only a snapshot of what the model is showing. Uh, this morning, today, on the 7th of February, could all look very different when you look at JMA Friday next week. Any forecast beyond five to seven days is fraught with health um, warnings and comes with a big, large pinch of salt. But that's what it's showing today. Generally, Atlantic driven right way through to month's end. OK, that's it for video number one. We'll be back later on with video number two, which is going to be your regular week 10 day free update live stream at 7.45, quarter to eight tonight on the YouTube channel. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.